Greetings and welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio, where black media matters and black life certainly matters. Today is Tuesday, July 10th, 2018. Well, family, this video is of a California prosecutor who is now suspended after a vile and vicious attack on Maxine Waters. No, this can't be true, but let's take a look at what the story is about. Well, family, uh, San Bernardino County prosecutor has been placed on leave after posting vicious attacks on social media about Rep. Maxine Waters, the Democrat of California, former First Lady Michelle Obama, Mexican immigrants, and others. Basically, this creep went on a racist rampage and... He had to pay for it, so he's on administrative leave right now, at least. But anyways, his name is Michael Selium. This creature, the lead gang prosecutor for the county district attorney's office, is being investigated over the offensive Facebook and Instagram comments, authorities said Monday. Staff complaints prompted the investigation. District Attorney Michael Ramos said the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office does not condone hate, discrimination, or incitement of violence, he told reporters on Monday. Quote, our community and the entire criminal justice system depends on having a fair, ethical, and unbiased prosecutor, unquote. Well, before I continue, let me just state for the record that any cases that have been prosecuted, prosecuted under this racist seriously should be looked at. In the past, however many years he's been um, prosecuting, especially black people. It is racist like this that we have to always be concerned with when we're dealing with the so-called justice system is people that are unscrupulous and who don't deserve to wear a badge or working in a criminal justice system at all. It is because of people like this. So again, instead of just moving on and continuing on business as usual, maybe you guys need to take a step back, pause, and look at the cases that this man has prosecuted. And then maybe you might find some light at the end of the tunnel as far as why you have so many black men, especially, caged up across America. You know, the modern day slave system, but that's another story. Let's continue. Well, what do you know? Michael Sulliam's Facebook and Instagram accounts have been deleted. Of course, they always do that. But a former member of his office captured screen grabs of several posts which were passed on to law enforcement officials and the San Bernardino Sun, which first reported on them. The post about Waters reads, quote, Being a loud mouth cunt in the ghetto, you would think someone would have shot this bitch by now, unquote. Do you hear what this man this creature right here has said about a political figure first of all he called her a cunt and then he claims that by now someone would have shot this bitch this is what this creature has said and why he's been suspended again he is a a, a San Bernardino County gang prosecutor but People should, at this point, be looking at the cases that this creature has prosecuted. Because these are serious charges and have no place in a so-called judicial system. But anyways, it continues. The message appeared after Waters called on protesters last month to confront members of the Trump administration in public. Peacefully over the president's harsh immigration policy. Her comments triggered a debate about civility in politics. Well, 
let's just state something for the record here. Black people are not going along with Maxine's um, immigration policy support. Black people would be smarter to not get in the immigration fight at all. Why we have black politicians like Maxine Waters, anyways, caping for other people, of all things, is beyond me. If you care about black people, then you will not participate in the immigration fight whatsoever. It is not your fight. They don't fight for you. Why would you fight for them? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up except when you get into coonery. So if you think that's bad, Selium also posted a doctored image of Michelle Obama holding a sign saying that President Donald Trump, quote, um, quote grabbed my penis, unquote, the Sun reported. In other words, he's trying to say that Michelle Obama is a man and that Michelle Obama was holding this sign of Donald Trump saying, uh, that, or saying that President Donald Trump, quote, grabbed my penis. This man, you know one thing that I've recognized about, especially white trolls, but white males have this problem in particular where they like to sexualize black people, but especially black men. If you're a black male and you are on a video game or in some type of social media uh, atmosphere where you are dealing with other people, you will find this happening so much where they get into sexualizing black men one way or another. And I quickly remind them how sick and demented they are and just how they're trying to pass their perversion and pervertedness onto us and how we're not falling for it. it it's a trip because every time when they talk about black men being gay or whatever, I quickly remind them that AIDS was first introduced to the world as a, quote, gay white male disease. I'll repeat that. AIDS, HIV, was first reported as a gay white male disease. Do you know that these white trolls are trying to say now that no, Africans, we started that? Yeah, that's what they're trying to say. They try to say things like that because, well, they're delusional and, too, they like to deflect and then project their sickness onto us. But, anyways, I'm sorry, I kind of got off the gist of things. But, anyways, um, when someone else complained about a police shooting, the, rep the reply from Selium's account was, quote, Go fuck yourself, you liberal shitbag, unquote. So basically, this man right here is really a bad person. And again, why I feel like the authorities should be looking at the cases that this creature has prosecuted in his past. That needs to be looked at seriously. But let's continue. And then we have one comment from Selyum's account. Said he was, quote, all for white males immigrating here legally and starting a business, unquote. But as for Mexican immigrants, he wrote in another post, quote, Mexican word of the day, hide, unquote, accord according to the sun. So this man is, again, uh, extroverted racist. And family, here is a snapshot of something that he wrote. And I'm just going to leave it on this picture while I go and cover the last part of this story. But basically, the posts are, quote, clearly outside the boundaries of civil service norms, unquote. Ziki Hernandez, president of a chapter of the Santa Ana League of United Latin American Citizens, told the newspaper, quote, law enforcement personnel and officers of the court system should not incite violence, unquote. Ramis said that the investigation could result in Selium's termination. Quote, this is a very serious matter, he wrote, unquote. Ramos said he was particularly concerned about Selium's attitude about the police shooting 
and about possible challenges to Selyam's prosecutions now that his biases have been exposed. Well, exactly, and that's what I've been talking about a little while ago, saying that his cases that he has prosecuted should be seriously looked at. And yes, this article is mentioning that towards the end here. And I'm glad to see that. Basically, an assistant district attorney has been assigned to review Sillium's cases, Ramos said at the press conference. So, there you have it, family. He is being investigated. His cases are being looked into. And hopefully, justice will be served. But again, in this environment we've been living in, justice is the direct opposite. It's when you do bad that they consider you good, and when you do good, they consider you bad. That's how the white supremacists and the global white terrorists operate. We're going to end there. This is Guru at Black Talk Radio, where black media matters. Tune in to my next video. We'll see you then. Peace out.